Hello dear everyone, welcome back here at Larnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Tonight I would like to share with you on how to make beef boopies. So these are uh, the parts or the innards of the beef or we call it mga nilalamang loob ng baka. So our meat preference is beef. So I have here my boiling water. So I wash these parts very very well. So I have to let it boil and take out its pungent smell. So I am going to add some uh, dahon ng laurel or bay leaves and then lots and lots of um cooking onions so you can use white or red cooking onions then i am going to add some salt sea salt so here there, there are parts of the beef like the beef tribe or the beef kidneys the beef hearts and the beef tongue and also this is the uh, beef tribe so I will let it uh, boil this for maybe uh, five minutes and then after that I'll have to throw out the first water so the onions will help its pungent smell take it to be taken out so let this be done for five minutes then throw out the water and change the water and let it be boil again for or reboil it for another five minutes Okay, wonderful friends, after five minutes, I'll have to discard the water and change another fresh water and let it re or reboil it again. Okay, wonderful friends, once this is done, I'll have to discard the water and let this uh, cool off for a bit and then I'll have to slice it into little slices or cubes. Okay, dear wonderful friends, let's start the cooking. <laughs> okay, now remember the beef innards. Uh, beef, mga nilalamang loob niya. So I tried to discard its water and slice it into tiny pieces. So those are the um, varieties of the innards. So I have here my carrots sliced into tiny bits. And red pepper bell, red cooking onion, lots and lots of fresh cloves of garlic, and then lemon, and then green pepper bell. And I have here my uh, bay leaf and ashweti. So that's food coloring that will enhance the color of our food. What are our uh, seasoning enhancer? I'm going to add some ketchup. I have here leftover ketchup, sukang maasim or vinegar. If you don't have sukang maasim or uh, coconut vinegar, you can use squeeze of lemon juice. And then I will be using fish sauce, soya sauce, black pepper, and uh, oil to saute. I'm going to use this canola. Any oil will do. Okay, so that's approximately a tablespoons of cooking oil. And this ashweti, this is food coloring naturally um, from a tree. And then you, you can use powder or seeds. And then if you use the seeds of that ashweti, you just dilute it with water. But you don't need to, to add the seeds of it. So that's our cooking onions, saute it until this will become translucent or slightly golden brown to be followed by our fresh cloves of chopped garlic. After which I'll have to add my um, beef innards and simply try to saute that one. So remember friends that different people they have their different ways of doing or cooking bookies this is my very own style mm -hmm. so 
I'm going to add black pepper. Adding black pepper depends upon your taste buds as well. A little bit of soya sauce. Uh, some patties or fish sauce. There you go. So that's soya sauce patties. And so I'll have to add sukang maasim to be combined with uh, lemon juice. So I am going to add my ketchup to enhance its uh, color. So that's my ketchup. And I'm going to add this bay leaf. I'll put that at the bottom part so that the aroma will start uh, from the bottom and going top. So I'll be adding this ashweti. You can buy this from any Asian store or from Filipino stores in your neighboring area area so I'll have to mix that one nice color and the aroma is really really good so some squeeze of fresh lemon so whenever I cook lovely friends I do not really uh, measure I do all the approximate base or tanchar tanchar or in Cebuano we call it bana bana. Okay, there you go. We have to mix it. I will be adding maybe half a cup of water. Some water because it will still absorb. And we want our meat to be cooked properly and it's so so that it will become uh, soft and eatable <laughs> okay there you go friends so I'll have to cover this one using my lid or cover so these are the last but not the least ingredients that we have we have uh, dye small carrots red pepper bell and green pepper bell and I have here my hot uh, chili fingers <laughs> look at that it's so good I'll have to slice it very very uh, small and then that will be garnished towards the end of our cooking so this is our espada or ceiling labuyu very hot chili <laughs> there you go friends so I use only one piece and then I slice it into bits. So wonderful friends, I added another 10 minutes in cooking this one. So remember five minutes, the first five minutes in the boiling process, I took out uh, the water and reboil it again for another five minutes. So in total, 10 minutes plus another cooking time for this. Uh, at least 10 minutes until the beef or the beef innards will be softened wonderful friends I'd love to share these beautiful flowers my husband gave this to me as a surprise I never expect this one because today is my 52nd birthday <laughs> I'd like to thanks I'd like to say thank you to all of you, my friends who are always following Larnie's Kitchen and Food Creations. Here in my little kitchen, kitchen, simply love to share our wonderful food and the way I cook food for my family. And thus, it gives you the idea on what to prepare for your family's next meal. Okay, wonderful friends. Come, let's check our... Um, beef <laughs> okay there you go nice so this is quite done so i am going to add this carrots and cook that maybe for one minute first because the carrots 
it is much harder than the red pepper bell and the green peppers so cook this for one minute so let's cover this one okay after one minute nice i have to add both green and red peppers so give a good stir so let's cover and have it done for another minute or so okay wonderful friends let's do the final rounds nice okay i'm going to add this red chili flake i mean red chilies okay i would like to thank you very much for watching la arnie's kitchen and food creations this is our final output of our beef bopis i hope you have fun as you always watch la arnie the way i cook and the way i love to share both of my cookings and bakings here at my little kitchen stay tuned for more friends